This one I call my uh, Universal Package Manager uh, that I wrote, uh, I think like a year or two ago. Uh, it's not really a Universal Package Manager. It's more like a, a front-end wrapper to uh, existing, you know, package managers. So, um, I'll give you an example, okay? If you're on like a Debian slash Ubuntu system, you know, you have to learn either App Git or Aptitude or something like that uh, for the Package Manager. And if you go to Arch, uh, you have, you know, Pac-Man and maybe some other ones like Gower or something like that. Um, and you have to learn those. And if you use both systems, you have to, uh, you know, try to remember the flags for each one of them, right? And let's say you go learn another one like Fedora or something. And you have to learn how to use Yum and so on and so forth. So that's what I hate about package managers is that I, I don't care. I, I don't really use the package manager uh, you know, for advanced stuff, mainly like the basic stuff like install, remove, and, and all that shit, right? But uh, you have to remember different flags for, um, you know, different package managers and all that. So this one, it's, you just learn one command, uh, and then it'll just do the rest. Like, you know, you want to search, you just type in, you know, uh, an alias for that, and then you search, and so on and so forth. So let me give you an example here, okay? So up top here, this is my Crunchbang, aka Debian, and it's either using app git or aptitude. So first we're going to look for, uh, or we're going to echo out the variable here so you can see the difference here. So I call this variable pkmgr for package manager, and you see now it's detecting uh, that I have aptitude on here. And down here we'll do the same thing, echo. Uh, MGR and this one is using Yowert, right? So there's two different uh, package managers uh, here. And if you do like, uh, I call this PKM, and in here you can do, you know, like a search or something like that. So let's say we search for, uh, I think I already have links on here, but let's see here. Maybe we'll install e e links next. Yeah, okay, let's say I install, let's search for something else. E links, what about that? Right, search for e-links, and we do that same thing, same command, search, e-links, and there we go, we have e-links uh, in here, too, right? Um, so you just use the same thing, you know, pkm, and you have different choices you can do, like uh, install, or, um, you know, info here, or refresh, and so on and so forth. So, for example, if we wanted to install something <clears throat> we would do like a pkm install and we do elinks right up top here we'll do the same thing uh, install elinks and type in our password and it should build it and not build it just installs it and enter and there we go we will install that sucker right so it's the same command it's just that um, depending on your package manager um, you know the way they'll build it or uh, install it so we'll wait for this to be done here um, hurry the fuck up man okay there you go it's done Right, and you can do some other stuff like uh, PKM. Let's say we want to, um, you know, maybe uh, look at the information of it. So you do info, elinks. Right, and that will display it uh, with apt, uh, aptitude. And over here we do info, elinks. And you see it displays this one uh, either using Yaward or Pac-Man here. So... You can see that it's kind of convenient because you don't have to like uh, either remember, okay, am I fucking using Pac-Man, Yaward, uh, Aptitude, or AppGet, or Yum, or whatever the fuck it is. You just have to remember, uh, okay, the prefix is PKM, and then you can look from your list here that you can do. So, for example, you want to remove something, you do remove, e-links, and let's say that one's yes. Say remove e-links, all right, 
and okay we'll wait for Debian it's pretty fucking slow with their package manager but uh, you can see that you know you only remember one thing like pkm remove pkm install or so on and so forth um, so that's the convenience of it so let me show you the code here um, what the hell is that okay not this part yet G. so the parts that you do need let me go in here the fuck was that okay there we go this part um, you do need this fine alternative here this is basically I don't forget where I got this but um, what this code does is that if you plug it into let's say this, uh, this export uh, command that uh, or this export variable that I have pkm right um, gr here for package manager and you use that command find alternative here uh, and then in your array here you just type out all your package manager that you would probably use right um, so obviously you have uh, Yaward and Pac-Man here so not everyone uses Yaward and that's not a you know that's okay because uh, when you use this command it will detect that hey you're not using Yaward or there's no Yaward on your system and I'm gonna use Pac-Man and same thing if you're on Debian right it's gonna try to do like this so let's say your system is on Debian it's gonna look at uh, this array here and it's gonna go okay your Debian system does it have Yaward install no does it have Pac-Man install no does it have aptitude install no uh, does it have Aptitude install yes okay then that's gonna be your default and that's what it's gonna do on every other system right uh, that order of this does matter too because the one package manager that you want to use the most you should put it in front and that will um, set it as the default because uh, it's going to look in that order so this is to be number one it looks for so if this doesn't exist on your system then it's going to go into the next one and so on and so forth until it finds what does exist on your system and I'll set that as your default now it's going to use this variable that we uh, grab from here and that's why we get this um, not this part so once it um, get rid of that once your variable okay so if your variable equals to app get then it's going to load all this crap here right all these uh, functions and all these functions are just basically um, you know kind of like aliases uh, for app get and install and all that uh, that we did before so pkm list stuff like that I used uh, dpkg and what else did we do we did a remove too so pkm remove then it'll just do sudo app get remove and then you know your package uh, that you want to remove um, I do have some PPAs here this one's mainly for uh, Ubuntu and their launch pad but let's skip that. And in aptitude that we use, see here this part. The fuck is going on? See here. There we go. So in aptitude here, um, pretty much the same thing. You know, you do pkm install. It'll just do sudo aptitude install without recommends because I don't want to install extra stuff. But you know, it's, it's the same kind of code. The only important part is you know you had to change in here. Well, everything you have to change your aptitude and all that, but you can see that uh, this is just an if statement. So if package manager equals aptitude, then it's going to load all this crap and so on and so forth to uh, Pac Man, right? So if your package manager equals to Pac Man, then it's going to load all this crap. And these are just um, for Pac Man here. So install, you do sudo Pac Man s and so on and so forth. And let's go to one more example. Yaward, right? So if your package manager uh, equals to Yaward, um, then it's gonna, you know, load all these uh, functions so you can use it. So you can use pkm install, and it's gonna use Yaward. And I like using no confirmation because you know how you build with Yaward. They always ask you like, hey, do you want to edit this fucking file or whatever? I just skip all that and just uh, do no confirmation. 
and it's going to build the packages that you want to install basically um so that is pretty much it for the code uh if you're using some other ones like packer or uh, i don't know what other front ends they have for pac-man but um you know and you, you can add it in yourself it's not that hard just uh copy and paste one of this and edit out all the parts and the, the one that's important is this part here your variable and then your um package manager front end um for aur or whatever the ones right so i do have that for um some of these other ones too like uh yum and zapper and i think i had one for emerge uh i didn't test out on all of them yet i only tested out on uh a debian system an arch system and fedora i haven't tried it on seuss or, or uh, you know gen 2 or anything like that so and it's not completed either so you know that's just a template if you want to use it then it's, you know it's good for you um so that's basically how that works and i'll show you some other examples maybe right you know you have a bunch of these uh pkm stuff in here so obviously if you want to do like a refresh this will actually do like a what is that uh, update your repositories so refresh it's basically sudo app get update and I forgot what it is in Pac-Man but you know you're updating your um, your repositories so some stuff like that so who do I recommend this to obviously if you're one of those person that uses uh, different distributions and you can't remember or you don't want to remember uh, different package manager because that's a waste of time in my opinion and um, this codes are you know compatible with bash rc and zshrc so any bash compatible you know code whatever uh, that your shell is using then um, it should work and this one was actually inspired by i don't know if you guys use you guys have you know that have used uh what was that bash rc and zshrc you've probably seen that code which is uh the extract code right the extract code if you don't know is basically you type in extract and whatever file it is it can be a tar file or rar or um uh was a zip file whatever it is it's going to extract it based on what it detects uh the extension is so it's kind of like the same concept but um you know th this one i'm doing is for package manager anyways that's where i got the idea from but that is my universal package manager. Uh, I posted this one a long time ago in my Bash RC that I shared with people like, um, I think five or six months ago. I don't think uh, anyone knew how to use it. So hopefully that explains it. And if you want to use it, go ahead. Otherwise, you don't need to. That'd be it for this one.